We're traveling south to meet our next young entrepreneur, Shelby, Ohio, to be exact, to meet Jake Penwell. Now, Jake, along with his best friend, started Albert Entertainment back when he was in the eighth grade. Now, Albert Entertainment is a DJ service. Well, they're so big now, they have jobs all over supplying top quality DJ entertainment for parties and dances. And that's not all. Jake has another job, which is actually going to be his career. You might find this a little odd, but Jake wants to be a licensed funeral home director and embalmer. Matter of fact, he works at the funeral home that one day he's going to take over. Well, we're going to talk to Jake about both jobs, but tonight the focus is on the party. Jake says he's getting ready to get the tunes going. I mean, the atmosphere is already charged. What am I doing yakking? Come on, let's get inside and see what kind of boss Jake really is. Jake, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Jack? Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. All right, tell everyone, how did you start being a young entrepreneur? Well, I think it started back one day. We were just sitting in my friend's basement, uh, just like we normally do, talking, thinking things up. Uh, we said we were pretty big in sound and lighting back at, you know, in high school and in, in the middle school with a talent show and productions. And we said, let's, let's think about doing something with this. It was something that we all liked and enjoyed a lot. We started looking through some stuff, some magazines online purchasing some equipment and it just built and built and built and now we have a DJ company. Well, you know what? You know on the show, I joined the crew, so you're my boss. You got anything for us to do? Let's go to work. All right. You guys have a ton of equipment. We're pretty proud of our equipment. Yeah? We do have a lot, yeah. Wow, I mean a lot. Let me ask you, both jobs, they seem to be... Uh, either end of the spectrum. One's, you know, the dance party and one group of people is a little past the party. Which one do you like the best? It's hard to say which one you like the, I like the best. I mean, the funeral home's a, a big part of my life and it's what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. But I will admit that the DJ company, it, it adds spice to my life. I mean, you know what I mean? It, it, it's fun. I mean, a party. Have you ever thought of combining them? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you, know, you can there run are the some funeral first, well, there's... then afterwards have the Irish type of wake <laughs> yeah, with a lot of music. That's, that's true. You could. All right, so if anybody wants to hire you, how do they get a hold of you? Well, our website is www.albertentertainment.com. Well, you know what? Before any music is played, we got to set this equipment up. Got to do it. All right, boss. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. The equipment's all set up. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's event. Remember, we're Albert Entertainment, and you have the power to play. All right, you guys are doing your sound check. Anything else? No, we're ready. We all need right. to change. Change? Hey. No problem, I got this covered. Right back. Okay. Yo, 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 what's up? Let's spin some tunes. <laughs> Trust me, you look ridiculous. Well, this is all I have. I, I picked up on the way down here. I, I don't know about that. Not up to the Albert Entertainment no, standards. No, I don't huh? think it'll be accepted. All right, well, no worries. Listen, I got to get some sleep anyway. Because I'm meeting you tomorrow morning, bright and early, that's right? That's right, that's all right. right. You handle the dance. I'm going to get some Z's, and I'll see you tomorrow. Fine, thank all you, right, Hi, we're at Jake's second job. That's right, Jake wants to be a licensed funeral home director and embalmer. Jake's going to talk to me about it, and he's agreed to let me help with some of the prep work that goes on in here. Now, of course, for obvious reasons, there's no funeral going on today. I got to tell you, I'm a little freaked out. Well, let's go talk to Jake. Jake, good to see you Nice again. to see you. How'd the dance go last a night? Great event. Everybody really pleased. Yeah? Yeah. A lot of dancing. All right. First question everyone's going to want to know, why did you decide to become a licensed funeral home director and an embalmer? Well, when I was in eighth grade, and I've always wanted to do it, even since I was a little kid. That's a part of life, and I've, I'm a very firm believer in that. I mean, everybody comes to, at death at a different angle, but, you know, it's always been very practical to me. Now, in this, to get into this line of, of work, do you have someone who you consider a mentor, someone who is, uh, or, or someone who kind of guides you through this? Oh, my boss is here at the funeral. I, they've taken me in as their family, and it, I don't, I look at them as my bosses, but I also look at them as much more than that. They mean a lot to me, and, and they've done a lot for me over the years, well, more you know, or less. You know, part of the, the show is, our show is that you're my boss. I work with you. So... 
you know, let's uh, let's let's get busy and you can put me to work. Let me show you what we do. All right, that's great. Let's All go. Right. Okie doke. And you're not yeah. worried about it getting wet or anything like no, that? No, no, right. it's okay. It's sealed for that. But normally we would stop here, uh -huh. and if it was a normal funeral, we would have pallbearers carry from here to sure. the car. And then at the cemetery, pallbearers do the same thing. And we'll you never dropped one of these, have you? No, hold oh, on. Okay, no. okay. That's, that's your biggest fear. <laughs> okay, All right. bring it over to the back of the car. All right. Come step up to the front. Uh-huh. Here we go, ready? There it's on. Now move back. Grab that handlebar again, lift, and push it on in. Okay. Now Let's wheel it right up center. here. Jake, thanks for being on the yeah, show. No, thank it's you. It's been a I pleasure. I really appreciate it. All right, well, I know you're busy with school. You got two jobs, two careers going. That's what and I got. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Thanks Take for being here. Jake is an incredible guy. And he's getting into a field that not everybody is able to do. But when you go through something as difficult as a funeral, you'd be lucky to have someone as compassionate as Jake running things for you. As for me, it's time to get back on the road. Well, I got to tell you, those were some amazing young entrepreneurs. I hope you've learned what it takes to start a successful business. You know, with an idea some hard work, and a lot of imagination, you too could be your own boss. And who knows, next time I might be working for you. But until then, I need a vacation. This is Jeff Blanchard. That's it for Who's Your Boss? Funding for Who's Your Boss provided by the Burton D. Morgan Foundation, committed to the free enterprise system.